Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I haven't posted in a while and last time I made a video I said I was going to try and do it more but this time I really do mean it. I'm going to try and do it more. Um, but today's video is going to be me showing you what we pack for the dogs when we camp. So we each travel with two dogs. Um, that's Walt behind me. He's, he's mine and then Sal has Scout which is a, um, she's a short hair border collie and Walt's a Beagle Cavalier. So they're both medium sized dogs. Um, and I just wanted to talk you through what we actually take, like what's our dog camping bag. Now I actually have, we have two dog camping bags cause we couldn't fit everything in the one bag. Um, so I'll just take you through one of them and then take you through the other. So the first bag that we've got here. Okay, so the bags we use are these Adventure Ridge bags. Now we get them from um, every now and then Aldi does like these great camping specials. So we got it from there. So this is our number one thing to buy. We love the clear top, especially Sal. She like is obsessed with them. Anyway, so this is one of our bags. Now in this bag, this is the um, sort of sleeping slash cleaning bag um i'll call it so what we have is two towels we have the pink towel for scout and the blue towel for walt um so that's when they need to be dried off or if we've just given them a wash somewhere and they need to be dried so they sorry a car drove past they are our towels and then we have blankets. So I did another video showing you how we set up the dogs for sleeping. Um, I'll link it down below if anyone wants to see it. But we, um, these blankets are a part of that. So they're just nice dog blankets. We bought them from Kmart. Oh, and these little towels just came from Big W. And then we have a few of these mats. Now these mats are good to sometimes when we're out, when we sit outside and the dogs want to sit outside with us, but they like to be on like not, not the dirt. Um, and that's what we have the mats for. So we've got mats galore, mats, mats, mats. And this is a little sleeping bag that Sal got for Scout. It's very cute. Um, so she lays it out and then opens it up. She's always trying to get Scout to get in it and then zip it up. And then the last thing in this bag is wipes. Now, the, specifically dog wipes. Now, I bought these from, I want to say Pet Barn. Um, could have been Pet Circle. Um, either way, just a pet store. Um, they're aloe vera scented antibacterial pet wipes. They are alcohol and paraben free, so they're good for sensitive skin. Walt here's got the sensitive skin. So if they get a bit just like grubby paws or Walt likes to do that thing where he like rolls in poo. I know all dogs do it, but he's like obsessed with it. So that's what these are good for. Just a little wipe if um, in between washes. So that is the first bag empty. I'm not going to put it all back in now. I'll do that later. But that's the first bag. So sort of wash slash sleep. Um, and they also have, you'll see if you do see the other video, um, they have beds um, and they're kept under, like separately, they're kept under our big bed. Okay, so then the next bag is this one, another Adventure Ridge clear top. Um, this one's a bit uh, longer. That one was more kind of like a, like a squarey kind of shape. This one's like a long rectangle. And... <laughs> I'm not used to talking so much, um, but yes, let's begin with this bag. Now this has got like everything else. So first we've got this. Now this is a um, rough wear tether. This is so good. I should actually do a video on this, but um, the other people have done reviews on this. And basically you just tie like one end to a tree and the other end to another tree and then they go along it. It's really good. So when we go to a campsite, um, we just find some trees, put the thing, and then they can move in between when they're not allowed to be off lead. We also have a whole heap of spare leads. So when we go walking and things like that, always need so they have their main leads anyway, but then we also have lots and lots of spare leads because you never know when you're going to need a lead. Next, 
I'm going to talk about these. I love these. Glow in the dark collars. Walt's excited. He's like, that's mine. The blue one's mine. <laughs> these are so cool. So you can, I'm turning it on now. So there's that setting, the flashy setting, uh, the, well, the fast flashy. This is the slow flashy. Oh, look at me. <laughs> and then this one, which is just the solid, which is the one I like. In the evening, these are so good, especially if you're at a campsite that is um, off lead. You put these around the neck, like so, and then <laughs> you can see them. If you can't see them, and then you just like look out and you just see like the bit of blue, or Scout's got a pink one, bit of pink. And oh, what's that? Take it off, Mum. Come here, give me, give me, give me to Mummy. So these cannot recommend enough now these are from oh custom pet collars um i'll put a link below but they're so so cool cannot recommend enough i'll turn it off now so that's that also in here we have treats now while Walt, eyes are bloody lighting up now um lots and lots of treats so we have um dog food i don't have it um here at the moment but we keep it just in this cupboard down here just a big thing of um dry dog food and then we also like to buy bones from the butcher and chuck them in our freezer um so good they love to just sit there and chew on them but also treats are good so we love our treats treaty treaty treaties what else oh now so um our dogs take um uh, next guard spectra which protects them from fleas ticks and worms i believe yes yes so they're monthly chews um and they have them every month really 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 important and especially when you go camping it's so important because there's just like ticks and all kinds of things everywhere so they have these at the beginning of each month i keep some spare ones in here just in case we're away and say we've gone away for a couple of months and um it's like the start of the month and we think oh my god the dogs need their tick medication have it okay next we have um walter's medication now walter unfortunately has cushing's disease so he takes um pills for that he takes um twice a day so he has this little pill thing morning night um, so then I just, it's just an easy way to keep track of his pills, make sure I've got his pills with him at all times. Next, we have our dog first aid kit. Now, this is another thing I think is really important, especially if you're out camping, really, really, really important. This one is really good. Now, this one is just, it's called the, um, first aid survival pet kit. I, I'll be honest, we haven't used it yet. We have only, um... We've only just purchased it because we realised that especially when we do our long trips, it's really important that we, you know, um, have everything we need to protect the dogs. Next, poopy bags. Now, my personally, I like these green ones because um, they're compostable, so it's good for the environment. Um, but then we also we pick up these black ones on the way because you find them at all kinds of dog parks and things like that. So just make sure you have lots and lots of poopy bags. Um, next, we have their bowls. Um, so this is Walter's food bowl. He has to have a slow feeder because he's just nuts with his food. Um, and this is Scout's bowl. She doesn't need a slow feeder. Um, hers is really nice, so it's a Yeti. And then it also matches our... Um, water bowl so this is our dog water bowl we actually keep this in the back of the car because um walter with his cushions as well drinks a lot of water and it gets hot and things like that so we just like to keep this in the back seat and then it's really easily accessible all the time we also um have a couple of those um collapsible dog bowls um just in a smaller dog bag which we also have um some poo bags in but this one is really good because it's a decent size so we just put that outside the campsite and then that is scout's food bowl Ooh. and this is waltz okay and now last thing we have are balls now they love to do the chasing of the balls and it's and especially scout it's like her highlight so we have um some tennis balls and some chucker balls in here and the chucker thrower so let me grab one of these chucker balls 
chuck them in. I'm not going to throw it because knowing my coordination, I'd throw it and then I'd knock the bloody camera out. So that is what we have in here. That is our dog bag. Z bags plural. Um, as you can see, we carry quite a bit of stuff. Um, but our dogs are like our babies to us, so we want them to be comfortable and we want to make sure we have everything. So whilst it can seem a little excessive, um, we find that it works really well for us. And um, we store it just under the bed here. So when normally we get to a campsite, open up the bed and we take the things out um, and just pop them either outside or just under the um, the table spot there and um, we find that that works really well so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, I'd like to start doing more videos I've said that a million times before but I really would um, so let me know if you liked it and if there's anything else you want me to do a video on um, yeah just let me know so thank you Walter says thank you he appreciated being in the, um, in the shot and, um, yeah, have a good, um, have a good day or night, whatever time it is for you. <laughs> Bye.